So Gurudev Kishori Ji chose very nice words. A lot of devotees like to listen to these words and we yeah, we hope that she will tell it. She will tell it. Radhe, <laughs> did you hear which verse at least or also not? So 51 from Vila Kusumanjali. <laughs> Sorry, I was already so deep. <laughs> oh, Devi, Goddess. When can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively light a lot of nicely fragrant incense? Fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. O oh, Devi, Goddess, when can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively, Light a lot of nicely fragrant incense. Fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. Notes. The ocean of Sri Raghunath Das Goswami's prema is stirred. And as a result, he relishes the flavors of wonderful services and he anxiously laments. The course of love is very amazing. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Antya Lila 18. All the loving phases of the devotee, his happiness, his distress, all the different transformations, even Krishna cannot know them completely. That is why he accepted the mood of a devotee to relish them. Prema makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dances itself. Wow. All three are dancing at one place. What to say, Gurudev? This is this verse from Chaitanya Charitamrita actually is showing importance of three persons 
in loving pastimes between Radha and Krishna. Yugala Kishore, Radhika and her, Mohan, but also third person. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Vrinda, 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 please mute microphone. So the third person is King Kari. Radhika's maid servant. And I remember when I have been in Vrindavan a few months ago, you mentioned actually that in material world, the lovers always want to be alone. But in the spiritual world, in this beautiful Sringaras between Radha and Krishna, they need third, at least third person. Because when they are completely intoxicated with their loving exchange, third person is needful, is very necessary to help them in many, many different ways. In material world, we know when couple exchange love, they want to be alone. They don't want to be in any association because very often third side makes a mess between them. <laughs> Many complications are coming when third side is trying to interfere. But here in transcendental exchange of love because the love is completely pure, prema is completely pure. All three of them, Radhika, her Krishna, and her Manjari, they are actually very close and depending on each other. Like Kishori read, Prema makes Krishna dance. So Krishna is depending on Prema. He likes to dance. He wants to dance. He wants to be under the control of Prema. Embodiment of Prema. And the embodiment of Prema also likes to dance with him, to give him a pleasure, to exchange love with her beloved. But also this third personality, Kinkari, also want to be present during the time of their exchanging of love. And this is this kind of exchange love is completely pure without any material whiff of karma. So because of that, they can, all three, they can dance in the same place. And no one is shy from another one because the presence of another person. Krishna is not as shy. He doesn't feel hesitation when he sees the presence of Kinkari, Radhika also doesn't feel any shyness because her Kinkari is present. 
And also, Kinkari doesn't feel any shyness because she is present in the most intimate moment of exchange of love between Radhika and Krishna. And because of this lack of shyness, lack of fear or respect, because the presence of intimacy of those three, they can dance during the Shingaras in the same place. Even Radhika's friend, girlfriends cannot dance in the same place. They dance, but outside the Nivriti Kunj. And Gurudev is mentioning, as you remember, that these dancings of three persons are actually Mahamantra. And if we try, and I know that many devotees were trying that, to meditate with this picture in the heart and in mind, then Hare Krishna Mahamantra is not any more dry, boring, but it becomes fluid, very fluid. And this is the mercy of our Gurudev to help us that we can really go deep in the Smaran and Bhajan as much as we want and as much as we can. So, I don't know, I'm sure that Gurudev has other things to say. Very nice. Good. Good. I'm repeating your words. Nothing. Jema makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dances itself. All three are dancing at one place. So Gurudev, because Karanga Sundar was explaining so nicely that this is the Maha Mantra, I, it inspired me to read one line, a few lines from the verse 89. And you can maybe comment if we can, if it's the same meaning. Every place Baha Mantra is a little different realization. What I realize, I can say. I see different realities. If you see in Manjari Bhav, you will see in Mahamantra. Like I say, the word Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare means uh, we have to know. Hare is the name of Radhika also, who steals Krishna's heart. That is Hare. Nature to steal it. Because of love, she still the heart of Krishna. 
So today what she do? Krishna is sitting in the garden and thinking for Radhika. And eyes were closed. So Radhika comes and she embraced so hard that Krishna with Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, took Sutra. Then Krishna she was surprised to do this. Then he opened eyes. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, then Krishna, yeah. It's Radhika. Krishna, Krishna, what? Hare Hare. Hare Hare. So imagine who impressed first. He covered everything. And who, who try to do it second. So who is outside? The first is outside and second was in covering. So Radha out and Krishna is in. So Radhika covered all Krishna, right? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Now they become Ram together. Ra, Radha first and then inside more. Ram. Hare Ram. Wow, beautiful. Hare Ram. Beautiful. Who is doing one Manjari who is chanting? He see Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Wow, so beautiful, so beautiful. So Ram, Ram. Then Radha Mohan, Ram. Ram. Hare Hare. It's a why you are sitting and chanting so far. Come and dance with Radhika. Prema make dance to Krishna. To the devotee and Prema dance. Himself, right? Right? Now, your anger sometimes is standing. You see this. Right?
Yes, good. Yeah. Please continue. When you meditate and chant this way, how much beautiful is Mahamantra? How you can leave this mantra? In beginning, in middle, and the highest realization that comes. And this realization comes by grace of Radha Mantra. I was sitting and chanting in the front of Radha. I got this maybe in eighties or seventies. I do not remember. Life changed. I will read again, so then you can also relish the ice cream. from Italy. All the loving faces of the devotee. His happiness, his distress, all the different transformations. Even Krishna cannot know them completely. That is why he accepted the mood of a devotee to relish them. Radhe, just stop here. We can hear how Krishna is depending of the love. And because he depends on the love, He is trying to take the mood of someone who loves him. And this is possible only when Krishna is Krishna in Vrindavan, not in other places. In other places, he has everything. But he is lacking this kind of pure, sweet love, which is, exists only in Vraja, in Vraja Vasis, but also in the most potent level, it exists on Srimati Radharani. So, this is very in important to understand that Krishna takes the mood of devotee. But what does it mean? Which mood? So many devotees are present. Which mood? Mood of Radha Dasis. Mood of Radhika's beloved maidservant. Because in that way, he can understand deep secrets of Radhika's heart. He can relish it. And how he is doing that? By taking the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
many times we are listening that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radhika because he is in this kind of feelings absorbed. But also he is relishing the mood of Radhika's Manjari or Kinkari. And I want to connect this with explanations of Gurudev about Maha Mantra. From my own experience with Gurudev, I don't have realizations, I have experiences with Gurudev. <laughs> In the beginning, when I got the mercy, my wife, Ramani, and me, from our beloved Gurudev, I was a little bit confused. How to chant now, how to chant Maha Mantra from different mood. And one day, I was a little bit angry. Why he's not explaining to me? And I wrote him. I'm confused. I don't know from which angle to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Your Swarup, my Swarup, everything is mixing in my head and my heart. Help me. And Gurudev wrote me, oh, very nice question, but I will answer you in seven days. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. But in the same time, he helped me to go deeper in that subject by connected with him. And after 10 days, seven days, I also wrote him, did you forgot me? No, 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 I didn't forgot you. Uh, a little bit more, seven days, I'm, I have, I'm very busy and I will answer you later on. So almost one month passed. Gurudev, I'm sorry that I'm, but I think that it can be helpful for others. <laughs> and for this month, I was going through different stages of happiness and distress. Like it said here, the loving <laughs> phases of devoted happiness and distress. <laughs> I went through these all stages, believe me, my dear. And finally, suddenly, actually, Gurudev asked Rasamayi, who was there in Vrindavan, wrote him that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always chant Maha Mantra from Manjari Bhav. And when I received that, that then everything became completely clear. I had to pass through this <laughs> turbulation time, happiness and distress, confusion. But in that purification process, I also got by his mercy uh, some glimpses of realization. And finally, when Gurudev said Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting Maha Mantra in the mood of Manjari, I got a point. So I'm sorry that I took time to take you this, but I feel that this is connected with Gurudev, what he taught with these words. And also, I want to say that we need patience to receive realizations. 
because if I'm sure that Gurudev, if Gurudev answered me immediately, first of all, I will never go through this process of happiness and distress. And it will never stuck in my heart like deep impression so much. So we need a patient and great faith that and hope answers will come and prema will dance. Radhe Radhe Gurudev, I'm sorry, I had to say this. You see Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada is telling last sloka. I show you the words. One word. Last word, no? Last uh, sentence. Not whole paragraph. No, 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 no. Just. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. By proper use of that independence, he comes under the direct order of Krishna. Thus, he attains his normal condition. Only this word, normal condition. If you are not normal, condition is there. Any abnormality is there. You never understand that. Normal, you have to be a normal to receive it. We collect so much information that we are abnormal with all information. See the Prabhupada's life. Thus he attains his normal condition in the pleasure-giving potency. Then he can understand in pleasure-giving And this normal condition is your mandiri vow rather than she. What qualification they have, what they have knowledge. One Dasi only knows about the boss. One servant only knows, recognize his boss. That's normal. They are very normal, very simple, and very kind. This taking time to bring to normal condition to spiritual knowledge. Prabhupada, I, I know I had anything. Normal condition. There. And this is normal condition is my self. Constitutional. Constitutional position. When we become normal, then we realize it. No?
in page 4, Prabhupada is mentioning that by devotional practice is normal. Devotion is in love in action. Normal. I mean, devotion by devotional practice, by doing and doing, we revoke our sarup. We can all understand which mood I want to be. And to, to develop perfection in your sarup, that he says sarup sin. Right or not? So he, in beginning and in, in last, he talked about that. He started with Bhagavad Gita with that and ends with Bhagavad Gita. This what my Gauranga Sundar is telling, more normal stage. Radhera. Dance is the normal condition. You cannot dance when you are in body re-identification. The moment your feet start dancing, you forget yourself and outside. Your heart starts dancing and your feet start moving. So Gurudev, before that line that Punyam read, it's explained that the um, the living being is um, bel <laughs> that the living being belongs um, to the superior energy of the Lord and thus has a particle of independence. And by proper use of that independence, he attains his normal condition. So the proper use would be to chant Maha Mantra from the perspective of a manjari? Normal condition um, is different and this is the independence is different. Independent means uh, I don't want to do anything. I want to be very independent. But I don't want to follow any words and listening to anything. I'm independent. But here Prabhupada writes proper use of independence. Proper use, what is proper use? Satana. It's surrendering. In the proper use. Proper use means I surrender to independent, my independent to you. What is Sharnagati? Sharnagati, my false ego, my independent nature, I want to surrender to. Right or not? See this. Sudevi, so think on this. What is independence? Proper use of independent. What you can use proper to the independent? They will make you to dance. Independence, if you not surrender, what is to surrender? 
my false ego and my independent nature has to surrender in Gurudev. To know Krishna, to be with Krishna, loving to the Lord. This makes crazy to us. Ananda. Yeah. So he says, stay with the bodily identification and enjoy like enjoy and suffer more, create more suffering. The proper use of independence is yeah. See that? Right or not? So we can become a Prema Pagalini. Sharnagati without not, then my. This ego will make more crazy to us. Without nothing, we become like a Krishna. We want to enjoy a crazy, crazy idea will come in life. You see, any life of lover is not independent. They want to take center of love, see the life of Jesus. You want to become son to free, not be, you want to be with father. He loses independence. Sharnagati. Right or not? And that is the easiest way of independence when you took the shelter. You surrender yourself. No? Yeah, is okay. Open the light, small light. Mm. Yeah. Is clear? Ah, Goranga Sunda. Oh, good, good there. It's more than clear. Yeah, but we have to to leave that. Yeah. But it's important first to be clear. <laughs> then you can practice, no? If not, then I will see that Krishna is independent. I have to be independent. Mm. Uh, means I want to be a Krishna. Mm. But I went to South America. Every can one person say, I want to be Jesus. I so uh, very nice. So <laughs> to becoming like a Jesus, God is easy, but to love Him is very difficult. Then you have to lose your independence when you want to love Him, right? So then, yes, Kishori. <laughs> no, the Kishori. May I share one about this point about the independent? So, uh, we have two way of bhakti. 
by the bhakti and raganuga bhakti. If we don't have independent, only way is by the bhakti. But from love, from our feeling, we have independent nature, no rule, no regulation, no duty, but just from love, we can do bhakti. That's why we need independent. I think uh, this is one point of uh, proper use for independence. You will not understand yes, the meaning of independence. Please correct me. Sir, explain it. Never say in between like this crazy thing. I don't like this. Say. I'm sorry. No, please. This habit is very bad. Without understanding, you are talking something. I don't like this. Mugananda Sundar, explain the, what is the line of Prabhupada and what I explain. So the independence is the cause of bondage. We are conditioned because of this independent nature. And as much we try to maintain this independent nature, we will never come to the position of surrendering, Sharanagati, like Gurudev said, and especially we will never come in the position, normal position. Beside Radhika, energy which is giving the pleasure. Because the Jiva's normal position is only to be with this beautiful, sweet energy who is giving, 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 giving the pleasure. Krishna, a lot of times, is taking, 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 and receiving. Why? I know that he is exchanging also, but the point is he is taking. And did this mood is reflecting of taking in a jiva. And when Jiva wants independence like Krishna, he wants to become Krishna and to take, to take, to take everything for himself. And because of this sick, sickness, we can say, he is eternally Jiva Bad or condition. But if he decides, use his properly, he's using his free will and say, stop, I will assign with Krishna. Because I understood who is he, I understood my position, I assign it, then in that moment of assignment, Sharanagati starts to bring the fruits of surrendering. And these fruits of surrendering are actually completely opposite of mentality of taking, controlling, enjoying, and everything what is the characteristics of Jiva Bada, conditioned soul. But the normal position, as I understood also, can be attained by proper use of our existence, how first Sharanagati and then 
come under the shelter of radicals. Then there is no necessity for independence. Independence is only working in material world. And because of that in independence, Jiva is going in this samsara, in the circle, from different bodies, from different bodies, to another body, to another body, only because of this independence. And it's so deep, rooted in the heart of all jivas, actually, that is practically not possible without intervention, intervention from another side, higher level of intervention has to come. But in the moment when we assign, it means that we surrendered our independence. And this is the reason why Gurudev, in every lecture, three, four times is speaking the same thing. Assign, assign, assign. So what does it mean that actually I didn't assign? I didn't. I'm struggling with that. I think that I know that I gave my independence, but I'm a very deceitful person who first deceived myself and others and showing myself that I'm surrendered. And this is not assignment with Krishna. And we it takes a time. It takes a time to understand and to not feel easy. And not easy. Not lagu. No. Not easy. Yeah. It's not easy that I lose my independence. Mm. And because the day I will lose my independence, I am surrender to my Gurudev. I am surrender to Krishna. Then my normal condition will come. Then Radharani will accept. So what you are telling, just reverse of this. So you are practicing this and you are talking that. Yeah, no, uh, my English was not good because by free will is independence, I misunderstood. In recording, you try to understand it. And if you not improve this, you will never grow it. Not English is a very clear, and I clearly understand everyone understand. You have to. That I'm independent and I don't like to lose my independence. This is my abnormal condition. If this is clear, all will be fine. Life will be okay. Maybe I need more help. What is the difference uh, each character and independence? Can you repeat, please? I We didn't uh, hear. Sorry. Uh, it's uh, it's not good subject to subject through, but uh, honestly, I got uh, I have one question that what is the difference independence and the character? Manjari have each character. They are different and, uh, characters, oh, and okay. I think this is independence. What is the difference? Gurudev, please. I don't know you <laughs> Um, maybe she, maybe, maybe she is um, mistaking two words like independency and um, individuality. 
because manjaris they are also individuals they have their own feelings and moods but they are not uh, independent maybe japanese have maybe similar translation that's why i confuse maybe, yes. now when i buy it's clear there might there might be if you like a very simple way of looking at independence and that is that all independence like all ego is false independence we are not independent and yet we think that we are independent the moment that we see that we have a soul and that this soul is linked to other souls then we see and understand that our soul is dependent on other souls but we're clinging to the idea that we're completely free and this is an idea which requires us to have no soul the moment we recognize we have a soul we recognize that we are not independent Oh. <laughs> again, Fairness. no, no, again, I, I want to more understand this. Wow. <laughs> Repeat. Repeat. One more time, Udava. Udava, you are miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, all independence is false independence. There is no independence. But we do not see that we are not independent. This is because we don't fully see that we're spiritual beings. We don't fully see that we have a soul. The soul, uh, by virtue of the creation, is connected to other souls, connected to the soul of Guru, to the soul of God. So there's all sorts of dependency in it. The moment that we realize that we have a soul, we realize that we are dependent as well on other souls. And this is a, be a beautiful thing. So we, we're, it's an illusion to think that we're independent. It's a mistake. It's an error. It's, it's once we see clearly that we're spiritual beings, we see that not only are we not independent, but we don't want to be independent. Was that clearer? <laughs> yeah. Without. What happened? Uh, what happened? <laughs> what you were doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm staying I'm up all surprised. night. I'm surprised. Sleep deprived. You're not. You are resting or not? Yeah, I'm night not night resting. In the middle of the night there. <laughs> middle of night? You are still there? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been all, up all night. I yes, had rushed in Zoom before and now I've... <laughs> <laughs> Americans are all independent here. You say yeah. you're not independent. <laughs> That's right. No, this is a very modern uh, Western idea, of course, that we all are free thinking and independent and we act and do whatever we want, but this is this is a part of false ego. And Gurudev, even from this line that Prema makes Krishna dance, we can see that even Krishna is not independent. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you see this? Till my independence is there, mm. I don't see anything. Until my independence is here, I will not dance for them. Right. Not, hey. <laughs> I will act like a crazy. <laughs> suffering. I don't know if I'm going to suffer.
Thank you. Is a very important subject. You uh, stretch this subject. It's a beautiful thing you do, Kisuri, to understand more to me. Thank you. Gurudev, very it's, nice. It's a nice. other way around, Gurudev. You make me to I mean. try to understand. You give me the greed to even try to understand something. And Uddha so a bit bad connection there. So we are being independent mm -hmm. and, and how much we make ourselves suffering because of yeah. that. Mm -hmm. We suffer because of this. Guru Dev, I, I just also want to say that, that until we don't realize fully that our independence are bringing us only suffering, we will not be ready to leave this independence. So we need also realizations that different that, that our independence are putting us in different unnecessary difficult situations and that we are unnecessarily suffering in the name of freedom, in the name of independence. And I think if we really especially those devotees who are maybe a little bit older, let's to say, <laughs> they, had, they have experience of misusing independence and the suffering in, because of independence. Maybe for the young people it's a little bit difficult because the energy is burning. Because we are still misusing this. Yes. No, I will say, I will, one thing I will Please. change in this. Please go. For young people, easy to change. For old people who practice independence, it's very difficult to change. Mm -hmm. Yes, also we can say that. It's very difficult. When the, they need heavy mercy to change themselves, because they are so long practiced to be independent by wrong ideas. They need a special mercy to change himself. Yes. It's not easy. Yes, Old devotee, more difficulties, and new devotee, more easy. Because there is no other blockage out there. And we, by some ego, we make more blockage that I know better. Okay. I, I have a much idea, this, that. <laughs> this is a stone we create on our land, not to grow the seed of bhakti. Yes, I want that you say. So inspired. Brother, I just try to expand on this very beautiful um, realizations now it's been pouring out from, from all the devotees here. And Udava just brought it to such a depth that what is our nature? And in Jedi Chaitanya Rita, it says, the Guru that likes this verse very much, Jivara Swarupa Hoy Nitya Krishna Das. So, what is this, the Jiva Swarup? What is the constitutional position of the Jiva? Is to be a eternal servant of the beloved deity, right? So, 
this is our understanding. So this is what Udavya also said. Once we understand that our jiva, our soul, has an eternal form, has an eternal role to play, to be a servant, then there's no question anymore of independence. However, in our Western upbringing, we have also a very good mantra, which says, with Latin, cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I exist. So the moment I, the mind is in control, I want to be independent. Because I have not understood my eternal position as a servant of the Lord. Okay. I want to be free. And the mind will tell me everything to keep me free and independent. The mind will tell me, you don't need to do this. You don't need to surrender. We can do this also tomorrow. <laughs> like, we know Baba tells in a beautiful, um, uh, one of his um, sharings, he says, the greatest mistake we have is that we listen to our mind who tells us do it tomorrow. We must surrender tomorrow. It means we still have not understood that we are eternal jiva. And now I wanted just to bring it to that point which started the whole uh, scratching which Guru was telling that Kishori Didi talked about the independence of the manjaris. And I was feeling that how can shadow be independent from the original? It's not possible. Whatever she gives, whatever she feels, close to us, right? So there is no independence anymore as a vessel of Radharani. We are her shadows, so how can we think even independent? Even, it's not even a choice anymore, you know? So it's so, that that makes, it's such a intimate heart-to-heart -heart connection with her, that in that moment there is no question anymore of our, even of our, we don't even think about individuality anymore. No wow. There's yeah. no time anymore to think I am. <laughs> no time anymore. Thank you very much now. I'm very clear. Uh, I was in illusion maybe. <laughs> and uh, everyone makes me clear. Of course, Manjari are shadows. We never become independent. <laughs> <laughs> now, thank you very much, you, all of you, and good day also. Uh, so much Sorry. Thank you. You, you made you it happen now. There's also a beautiful way to see that we are all like, you know, together swimming here <laughs> with the army instructor. Mm -hmm. uh, you help us. You helped me. Thank you so much. I made a mistake, but Jai uh, Rade, thank you so much. Rade, Rade, Gurudev, may I ask something now? Uh, everyone was speaking so nice. And I have one feeling and I want to know. Yeah. And so, you know, sleeping that we have realized that we are the sons of Radharani. So that means that we are in service. Actually, the the Manjari's Varup, I was looking for this in Vilakus to Manjari. So if somebody knows where it is written, I did not find it this week, but it is said that the Svarup consists of the service. So, so, I have no idea what that means. I can only aspire, and you all can inspire me to aspire for this, but the closest to this feeling that I have been is when I am in Vrindavan in the service of you, Gurudev. Because then I feel happy. Then I feel like I'm normal. This is my normal condition. I'm happy. If I can be 108% only in 
seva. Why? And when I am Gurudev Sarvikrat, listen. Yes, yes. Gurudev Sarvikrat, East Dev Sarvis. Gurudev yes. wants to follow. He is a navigator. If you if you make the goal to Gurudev, is a Mayabad philosophy. Is not a goal. Guru is not a goal. Sorry to say. Guru watch is the way for the service to the East Dev. Maybe I am wrong, but I do this practice. Guru, what has to follow? Yes. That is service. He is a navigator. Navigator means you not follow the navigator. You want to serve the navigator and I will not listen to you. Then Gurudev service is not that. Yes, we have to be very careful how we formulate these topics, that it is clear. Bapu, Bani is the worst and Bapu is physical seva. Mm. Bani has to follow. Physically, we have to serve to the Easter to Radha mm. Mohan. So, I will try to ask again. <laughs> when I am in Vrindavan, then I am under your guidance under the guidance of my Guru Manchari, who is my teacher and shows me the way how to be in service of my Ishtadev Radha Mohan. And then when I can follow the guidance and the teachings of my Gurudev, I can feel happy that I am in my normal condition. Yeah. That is, this is, and one thing more, why we do service sometime to Gurudev, to melt him, to receive the mass. When he will melt, automatic, without his knowing, mercy will flow to him. Because he not give easily mercy. That's the problem. Because he thinks that are not qualified. So his heart is not melting to flow it. He also looking that how his heart is moving. 100% or 99%. When we met, some service he very attracted. Then one drop of his mercy can make you mad for six months. This is the power of mercy. So, Guru Dev, is it because Krishna is even more happy if we give pleasure to his servant than we give a pleasure to him? Oh, but Guru Dev is not happy. And when Guru Dev is not happy, <laughs> that is not mercy. Right. So I will receive the mercy. 
He is happy when I connect with each of them. Right. Right. And I surrender of my false ego to him. That mm -hmm. I don't my false independence. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple thing, but if you analyze this, everything will be crystal clear. Right. This is my realization in my life. Prema makes Krishna dance, makes the devotees dance, and dances itself. All three are dancing at one place. When Swamini takes her meal, Tulasi very carefully offers her the most exquisite incenses and fans her and fans her according to the time of the year. In the summer, this is more required than in the winter. In his visions, Raghunath personally experiences this. And when the visions vanish, he anxiously prays. Without devotional service, the pure devotee finds it hard to stay alive. Sri Raghunathas wept as follows in Sri Vishakananda Stotram. Although this person is cruel, deceitful, and wicked, he still humbly bows down at her lotus feet, considering them to be the only goal of his life. And he continuously weeps and begs. May the queen of Vrindavan be merciful to me and allow me in her own party, engaging me in her direct service. Eagerness is the very life of Raga Bhajan. Srila Narottam Thakur sings, Krishna is the greatest hero. Be very eager for him and worship him in the Braja mood. When there is a desire to attain the Lord, contempt. <laughs> So, there is a 
very nice point eagerness and qualification eagerness doesn't depend on qualification devotee who is practicing religious parts who is practicing Vaidhi Bhakti Hare sorry, Gauranga we cannot hear you so well okay okay I'm sorry so this is the difference between eagerness and it's okay much better really. much better thank you there's a difference between eagerness and qualification and in the vaidhi bhakti qualification is very important not eagerness but in eager in raga bhakti spontaneous love and service the most e important item is loba or greediness. So we can see here that Raghunath in this Vishakananda Stotram, he is saying, although I am unqualified, I am deceitful. I am a wicked person, I am cruel, and so on and so on. He, in a humble way, he is looking at him in his sadakvesh. But in the same time, I cannot stop my eagerness. And because wow. of that eagerness, wow. I'm, all, I'm always living in the ocean of hope. Wow. Without eagerness, there is no hope. Because if I see my disqualifications, hope will never arise. <laughs> so this is negative side, a negative principle, like Gurudev is many times <laughs> speaking, be careful, don't be negative, be positive. But how to be positive if I know who am I? But this is just the body, like Udavaji said. If we just look everything from the bodily consciousness of life, we will never come to the point of eagerness and hope. And because of his hope, he allowed himself to continuously cry and cry and cry. Eagerness makes him strong to cry. Crying is not weakness. Crying, ability to cry for Radhika is the sign of strength. Yeah deep inside strength but in the same time wow. i know who am i wicked deceitful person and so on and so on and the list is endless but there is only one thing and this is gre greed which has to be received from someone who is drowning in the ocean of greed. And maybe one yeah. drop of that greed will come on my head. Sri Rathe, beautiful God. I love you. I love you too, Gurudev. Listen, 24 7 to you. Wow. Beautiful. Nothing to listen, Guru. I know. <laughs> These are the point. We don't develop our eagerness and we see the qualification. Hmm? 
modification is not freedom. That is now, Nothing. Uh, this good subject for your research. Indeed. Yeah. Eagerness is the very life of Raga Bhajan. Wow. And qualification is the very life of Vaidhi Bhakti. Yeah. <laughs> we, we should know the difference and we should feel the difference. And we have to check this. And we have to check it always. This is the reason why so many devotees who are practicing so long time Dharma mm -hmm. or Vaidhi Bhakti, they say, this is too high for me. I'm not qualified for that. I am not qualified for that. And I need qualification. This is completely opposite concepts of thinking, consciousness. And what is the normal for Vaidhi Bhakti? It's not normal <laughs> for Aga Bhakti. <laughs> Abnormal. <laughs> and this is the reason why mm. Bhakti is natural. Mm -hmm. And everyone can practice it. Old, young, foolish, literate or illiterate with knowledge or without knowledge because this is the only qualification eagerness <laughs> Daddy. So, so that i want to stay independent then why do you is good for me i'm very nice Pollution of the chase. <laughs> Veganness is not necessary. <laughs> and I don't need to surrender. No. No need to surrender. No need means, to be eager. <laughs> means eagerness is the natural state as well. It's the constitutional position. It's the presence of Radharani in our hearts. That's the yeah. eagerness. That is. Point. Natural. Point. Uh, natural Norm position. Normal. Normal. My false ego not make me normal. <clears throat> false ego. Because I no give to this false ego in lotus feet of Gurudev. And I want to be living in false ego. I don't want to surrender. This has to surrender. False ego, when I give to Guru Dev, did surrender. Guru Dev, may I ask something? Does yeah. it mean that we are, when yeah. we are independent, then we are on the way? of uh, to krishna and we are when we are with eagerness then we are on the way to radhika when we are independent we are living in body consciousness but also the soul is independent then we, we are jesus soul is independent so it's because also the soul, Krishna is, is independent. Yeah, so soul become independent. But when soul come in his normal position, he to shelter. Shelter.
then he gets normal position. Explain your English is good, God. Is a very important point here. Yes. This verse, which uh, <clears throat> Gopinath can explain. Yes, Gopinath said yes. this verse, Jivera Swarup Hoy. It didn't say Jivera Krishna Das, but it said Jivera Swarup Hoy. Mm. The whole, the whole Rasa Lila, the whole loving pastime is only possible because Krishna is not independent, because he's at the mercy of Radharani, he's governed by her. If he were independent, like the personalists wanted, like Gurudev just said, Maya Veda philosophy, then we would have no loving pastime at all. He left his independence. Because of loving, loving yes. time, to use his time in loving way. Yeah. There's no place in Vrindavan for his independence. And loving That's time means you are living in Austria. If you are in loving time, you are in Vrindavan. So, <laughs> any place can be Vrindavan. And when you live in false ego, come to Vrindavan and live in false ego, what, where you are living? In America or South America? You know, huh? Who, who is the most example of Jiva Swarupa Nitya does? It's Krishna coming as Mahaprabhu, appearing in this. In this Kali Yuga, in the human form, to show us that there is no independence of the soul, right? And he comes, why? He comes to take the position of Radharani, means that to become dependent of her, to take her mentality and to feel her emotions. So, it means That's it. triple mm. dependency. Jaiho. Triple dependency. Mm. And there is one more thing. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna said, No one is calling me Radha Sevaka. <laughs> so, what does it mean to be Sevaka? It means there is no independence. <laughs> we cannot do Seva <laughs> with selfish mentality. So Krishna wants to be Sevaka, Radha Sevaka. And he said, everyone is worshipping me and everyone is asking something from me. But no one is there to call me Radha Sevaka. Wow. And, like, and like you said, and he appeared like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to taste also this mood of Radha Sevaka. Not Radha only, Bhava, but Radha Sevaka. And we know what does it mean. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The crisis of the age of Kali is caused by independence. <laughs> yeah. We're suffering for you, no? Suffering, suffering. suffering. Make you in. Alternate, uh, in the last is a heavy suffering. All we lose everything, and then we feel guilty why we do this. Thank you, my dear, for so sweet and nice sharing and class. <laughs>